smells like mangoes. Yum, yum. Now, where were we? Um, we weren't anywhere. The video's only just started, you prick. Uh, comic books. I showed this one before, because I ordered both of them, but only this one arrived. So I showed this one. Turns out, something I didn't know, because I'd never really heard of, of the authority or anything before. Turns out, the one I had previous was the second of the two. They do go in a series. This is from 2004, I think. 2003. And this is 2005. 2003, 03. Bisley, 03. It's Lobo, the authority, which are some people, versus Lobo by Simon Bisley. Well, not by, but drawn by artwork by Simon Bisley. So the first one was cool. You know, early 2000s, Simon Bisley, not long after the 90s sort of power surge of Simon Bisley, um, which we all know and love. It's like, it's a Christmas tale in February. Um, it's the authority. These are know, a bunch of people... Heroes doing some shit, and uh, here's how I gather it. They're setting up for Christmas. I've not. I've read bits and pieces. I've not read it through because fuck that shit. <laughs> um, they're setting up for Christmas, and the kids. The kid it has like power, but the kids like sad because of Christmas. She, uh, not getting what she wants or something. I don't know. I didn't read it, but she's sad. She's off in this other bit of the spaceship. Uh, somewhere. She finds a book. What book does she find? It's only bloody the Lobo Paramilitary Christmas Special. Um, and this is where it actually it gets quite quite cool in a way. Um, so she finds that and then she reads it and she's really mad because she's like because in, in, in here, in the end of this, uh, he's killed Santa Claus. He's fighting Santa with this he's called like machete knife things kills santa claus cuts his head off spurt spurt delicioso um and then so she she found that book this the lobo book in which lobo kills santa claus and she's really mad because lobo this fucking guy has killed santa claus so she's like find him make him pay kill him she wants to kill lobo madness what's gonna happen so lobo's out in space doing his thing being all cool and hardcore killing aliens and shit you know as 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 he is wont to do um i don't normally i don't go through the stories but i actually i quite like the the interconnectedness of these stories so i'm going to go over them briefly and then focus on the art and shit i guess um so the the authority with the kid takes a trip to the north pole to see this um, is there glare on the on the thing? No, it's not too bad. Cool. Um, the destruction of the North Pole left over uh, from Lobo, so it would seem. Um, I fought the bow and the bow won. See, it's like I fought the law and the lo the low bow. bow the all dead elves and shit. We that's a really nice spread. I like that. Very like... All right, Bisley. Two-page spread. A bunch of dead fucking elves and shit left over from... The North Pole getting destroyed by Lobo. And they're like, Jesus fucking Christ. Cool. Um, so I guess they use this like robot computer lady to track down Lobo or something. I don't know. Um, these are some leftover critters that are still alive. An elf with his arms and legs off. A, a snowman with a gun. It's quite cool. I might steal that for... Fucking gun viking someday. Lobo's in space with some worms. Oh, there's information being exchanged. Cool shot of Lobo on his space bike in the previous, the, the, which is actually the second one. Um, there's a cool shot of, oh, it's an earlier one, I think, of Lobo somewhere. Shit. I've gone past it. No, yeah, Lobo in space on his, on his jet-propulsed space whale pirate ship thing giant squid on it um so that's a cool like lobo space bike thing and and like not the silver surfer but like a gold surfer saying he wishes he had a a vehicle like that so blur blur uh lobo finds them uh they have a fight and they're like oh no what's what the fuck's going on gotta go kill lobo because he killed Blee. that's a really cool 
the robot computer lady's fucking wrapped him up in her electronic metallic tendrils and shit. And then they kiss. Um, uh, la da 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 da. You killed Santa, you bastard. And then, uh, Belobo's like, you killed Santa to the kid. And they're like, wait, what? Um, there, so he show, she she shows hit Lobo the book. Like, look, look what he did. Um, and he's like, hey, this is worth a fortune. Uh, it's fiction. It was a little uh, make-believe uh, like Santa um, to do his image some good, to make Lobo look good by saying, like, hey, look how cool and badass Lobo is. He killed Santa. So it was a work of fiction. Um, turns out this girl, with her weird powers, inadvertently actually decimated the North Pole and Santa and I think the entire Earth. And then they have like photos uh, of this girl looking like she's killed Lobo and they threaten Lobo with showing those to ruin his reputation if he leaves them alone. It's a whole thing. Uh, which is, you know, cool, whatever. So that's that's the story there. The book covered by the snow. Oh my God. And then in the second one, uh, I'm not really sure where the story goes or what something with nazi rabbits and they're like hey lobo was a badass let's call lobo in um or maybe that's it because she she has the book doesn't she so maybe they're like oh no there's i think it's an easter as opposed to christmas there's nazi fascist bunnies easter bunnies and then this girl is like Oh, where's the fucking scene where she has the book? God damn. She's like, hey, remember that guy from that book? Let's get him to help. And then they get him to help with the Easter Bunny as opposed to the Santa problem. But it's cool because... So this is the work of fiction. What they're saying is this is a work of fiction. Even in this book, this 1990s, 1991 Christmas special of Lobo with art by Simon Bisley... Within this, this is a work of fiction. So there's like some parents with kids on Christmas and they're like, oh shit, we can't afford presents or some shit, I don't know. Uh, they have an issue and they're like, what do we do? Uh, let's get this book. Let's check out this book that might help. And it's whatever, whatever. Uh, the Lobo Xmas something, something. And they're like, okay, cool. Let's check this book out. And the book is, once upon a time, there was this really cool dude and a dog. Uh, so the book that these people read is this essentially this story of Lobo going to the North Pole to kill Santa and then he kills Santa um, but then I think the joke at the end is they read the book and they're like cool let's read it to our kids on Christmas but the book is good for one read only the book poofs into air and vanishes so I think they go to kill the kids uh, with a shotgun so that they don't have to give him presents or so. Nice. Very cool. We like that. That's very cool. So it's a work of fiction on its own. And then it's been inserted into this comic as a as a, a separate work of fiction that this kid reads thinking it's real, but then Lobo has to say, uh, it's not actually true. And then in this one, they're like, hey, that guy from that book, let's fucking get him back. And then he hulks out, if you recall. Uh fucking Hulk Lobo to kill all the Nazi Easter Bunny rabbits. So that's, that was only what, 10 minutes. That's cool. Uh, um, a nice painted, painted, painty, painted Bisley cover. We like those. Uh, you know, that's cool. That's cool. But we do, we love a nice hand-painted Bisley cover. Um... <sighs> None of this, I feel, is really his best work, which is kind of a shame. Um, certainly the drawings in this do feel almost lacking compared to the drawings in this, uh, only a year previous, this being a year previous. Um, it's inked by a separate person. I think Bisley inked his own shit in here, so that may add something else to it. Um, I feel like the drawings in this later one do feel slightly more refined still you know crazy messy energetic with Bisley's token you know handy hand on them uh do like the old there's a really good 
page with all the Nazi rabbits. Yeah, all this shit. Really, really cool. Um, but we've already looked at that, so fucking whatever. Um, there's a page I needed to find here as well. Uh, that one. Uh, so the artwork's cool, the colours are good, but I think like like the entire book, the 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 one they did later, this one did sort of level everything up. The the art, the inks, the colours, everything was like a step up uh, from this one, because a lot of it is like scenes like this of just people doing people shit, which is kind of like when you've got an artist like Bisley, you want the entire thing to be like fucking body count with uh, the turtles or whatever. Um, you want it to just be fucking action and muscles and guns all the way through. Um, so there's a few sort of cool shots. That's a cool shot of Lobo and then him doing his thing. But even this is like pretty mellow by Bisley standards, which is a bit of a shame. There's some cool drawings. These worm creatures are pretty well drawn. The people look like whatever kind of drawings. Um, this is cool. You know, give him... The chance to do something like this and that's really really nice really cool well-drawn skulls and shit uh overall it's it's a little bit it's cool to see a busley comic anyway like whatever it's cool shots like that brilliant but overall i felt a little bit underwhelmed by the artwork for it um scenes like this that's a pretty typical busley person running from behind image he's used very very similar shots to that quite a lot so those are pretty well drawn like you know if i draw a goblin it's really it's it's really well drawn it's drawn better than some other things because i draw so many of them so when you draw so many of this sort of scene it looks pretty good um and yeah some cool that's a cool interior shot you don't see a lot of those from um Bisley. uh pretty decent fight scene uh, I think with with the designs of these characters, uh, Bisley does get to flex flex uh, his uh, sort of anatomy knowledge, know how, and drawing capabilities, which is cool. All the musculature, because he's done the bodybuilding, so he understands the muscles and where they go, what they do, how they look, how they work. That's really really cool. <laughs> That's just a cool drawing, like. I'd love to see the original black and white inks of this. Because um, a lot of the comic... And that's I, that's just comics. That's how, how comics work. You get these scenes of just people talking. So you go, okay, just draw people talking. Cool. But then you get a splash panel where there's this shit going in on. And then you, you know, put the effort and time in to really make it look a bit better. A bit cooler. Um, and it's it's cool. But there is, okay, so this is a good place to show it. So this was 1991, Simon Bisley drawing Lobo. Fucking look at that. That is glorious and masterful and shit. And then this is 2005, 2005. Five, four, four, five, four, five, 2005, busily drawing Lobo. And it's really, it really does lose something. I've said it before, I think it's earlier on, you really, you have to, as an artist, take time to show off what you can do. So you spend ages and ages making everything look neat and perfect and proper and great. And then once you're accepted because you can produce this, I'm not not so to suggest people get lazy, but you ease up a bit. You 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 know it's healthy to ease up a bit, so you, you're not killing yourself all the time to make every page the best fucking piece of artwork you can possibly do. You relax a bit, and you know your lines are less laboured, a bit more free. The style's a bit easier going, but just this isn't bad necessarily. But compared to this, it's just it really is lacking something. The hatching is is you know messier less refined the anatomy even doesn't look quite as sort of well realized later on and that's what 14 years later so it's you know it's gonna look different it, it would be bad if it looked the same the issue is 
it looks worse, which is my my issue. And then there's this one, which is almost kind of, I feel like it's almost in between. I, I think I prefer this to this. Um, I mean, it might be the face. I don't know, the facial hair or something. I just, I'm not quite digging this. And maybe that's the different Inca who had a hand in it. Um, so that, uh, the anatomy on here feels a little bit, I don't know, chunkier, a bit better, but I prefer this as a whole image than this. But then, it, again, it's just well, that that hand, that gloved hand, the arms perfect, the veins are not, not perfect, but great. The texture in the front, the tits and the six pack, the little tummy, fucking the legs, the shine on the trousers on the legs, and then the, the tears and the skull pad and everything. That's so, so great. Um, and if you can find them, you should definitely look for black and white inks of 90s Bisley Lobo because the comics, the printing of them really, really detracts from the drawings. Because I've seen a couple of um, a really nice, like where he really clearly put a lot of effort into like cross-hatching shading and stuff, some of the uh, Lobo drawings. Um, but then when they're printed, you know, as it just the way it goes, you really lose some of that uh that uh that that uh fucking art energy and shit yeah um but yeah i think ultimately 90s bisley is like peak bisley when he started out abc robots judge dread slain that's like fuck it at lobo you know he's done a, a bunch of other stuff obviously the covers he was doing around that time for like doom patrol and um uh, hellblazer um and all that shit it was like fucking great the best 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 and then he's done some good stuff here and there since then um but i don't know if if he's his work's still great it's still fantastic i just don't feel like he he's been able to reach the level he got to around this time but anyway i'm glad it arrived finally i got to look through and actually get a grasp on the story which is cool because i don't often do that uh that was that and now here's this